Hi there, I'm Gene Ovenick, and uh, today we're going to introduce this uh, leverage testing device that is designed specifically for complementary diagnostic endeavors for treating lamenesses of the distal limb. I took him to quite a few vets and they could not figure out what was wrong with his feet. It came down to either Gene helping me out and experimenting and doing all the things that he's done to make him as good as he is today, or I wouldn't have a horse, basically. I could tell by the first time he did him, he, he actually walked off without being in this so total distress and pain. But from th this time on, we kept experimenting and Gene kept experimenting with him. And I think the final thing that's helped Archie the most is the leverage test on his, that they did to make his foot stay, I guess, a little more stable. We've had him to so many vets and they haven't been able to quite figure out what would make him sound or even if he would ever be sound. What I can see from the, the leverage testing device is that this is another tool that can help guide us, in a, in a, especially in a treatment plan and somewhat in our diagnostic workup, especially for the case where we've done things that we think should work and they're just not working. This can give us some new information or some different information and redirect our, our line of thinking and try and help us move forward. The thing that seemed to be the most rewarding part of this was you ask the horse what they really truly really feel. And that was the missing link with him. We put the leverage boot on him. He said, I, I don't like this at all. And that really surprised us. And, and of course, a horse that turns circles, that's a big deal. But the thing that was really impressive about it was is that we switched the dial to the other side. And he said, this is what's going to make me happy. And so we've given him that. And he's maintained his soundness now for well over a year, hasn't he? Uh-huh. Yeah, uh -huh. and he's run. He's a great horse. He's, yes. Uh, the people around yeah. here say, when Archie comes to town, <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have to take second place. This is a, uh, a device that's strapped on the bottom of a horse's foot, but we like to have this center pivot point close to the center of articulation, and Dr. Trotter's going to show you a little bit about that in, in a, just a minute or two. But the straps go around the ankle and, and surround the, the pastern area and then attach to the backside, so it's basically strapped on. There's, there's uh, it, Once it's held in place, this dial on the bottom can be moved to different positions on the from the ground surface and it elevates the foot in this direction and then we do we swing this around to the opposite position to get a counter reference and we, we work around the bottom of the foot in eight different directions diagonal corners front to back side to side and then on the quadrants in the quarter section of the foot so basically we're challenging the structures inside the foot the connective tissue for the most part and the joint itself the thing that seems missing in a lot of treatment protocols is asking the horse where they really hurt. And most importantly, not just exactly where they hurt, but what makes them feel good. And if you can make them feel good and give that to them 24 seven, they're eventually gonna heal sensibly. Yeah, it's a very interesting approach, and I and I think it uh, it lets them be a more active participant in what's going on, you know. And that's uh, that's not always uh, the case with some of the decisions we make for them. So we had his knees injected, his hocks injected. You know, it would go from one foot to the other foot, and just progressively getting worse and worse and worse. And I was actually on my way to CSU, Colorado State University Vet Hospital, when my shoer asked me if Gene could have a look at him. So I hauled him down to Penrose, and Gene uh, 
you know, used his wedge and then sh and then shot him. And, and, and truthfully, when he first put the shoes on, I wasn't sure. You know, I'd never seen anything like that, and I wasn't sure. But within a week, this horse was sound, and I was riding him. And within probably, what, two weeks, Shane, I had him back up here, and he's just been going ever since. Just wonderful. Fixed him. And so it was It was kind of miraculous, the fact that put these shoes on him, and it's it's been a night and day difference, for sure. Um, and it's funny, one of those things, you know, these horses can't talk to us, unfortunately. And so I recollected that after, when we first saw him, he didn't turn around very good, and he acted like he wore lead shoes. And, and he wasn't lame at all at that time, that first week or two that I had him. But he just did not want to turn around. And so that's the other thing, is he came back to me after having the shoes put on, uh, 100% sound, but his turnaround just miraculously got better. Because, and I think it's because he felt better. I think he was a little sore, but not so sore we could tell when I first started him. But he was that much better to where he turned around better just by having shoes. So his performance improved. And I think the missing link is just the fact that we've never been able to ask the horse in a way that we can now. And I think it's opening new ground into the treatment protocol, but without the leverage testing tool, you would never be able to get an appreciation for what's possible. And I think we've just begun to scratch the surface on what's possible.